In this video, we'll discuss chemical control of the respiration, the location and function of the chemoreceptors and their interaction with different substances. Central and peripheral chemoreceptor stimulate the respiratory center. Where are the central chemoreceptors? Central chemoreceptors are situated near the respiratory center in the medulla. And where are the peripheral chemoreceptors? The peripheral chemoreceptors are the aortic and carotid bodies. The aortic chemoreceptors are above and below the aortic arch. The carotid body chemoreceptors are at the bifurcation of common carotid art. So how central chemoreceptors are stimulated? Central chemoreceptors are stimulated by increased carbon dioxide and increased hydrogen ion concentration and a decreased pH. Whereas peripheral chemoreceptors are stimulated by increased carbon dioxide, increased hydrogen ion concentration and a decreased pH. They are also stimulated by a decreased oxygen. Hydrogen ions are the most potent in stimulating respiration. Increased hydrogen ion is stimulate central chemoreceptors by 75% and peripheral chemoreceptors by 25%. How carbon dioxide act on central chemoreceptors? Carbon dioxide doesn't directly act on brain. Since carbon dioxide is lipid soluble, it readily penetrates the membrane, enters the CSF from the blood and there it combines with water to produce hydrogen and bicarbonate. Carbon dioxide combining with water to give carbonic acid which is a weak acid and is broken into hydrogen and bicarbonate. Hydrogen ion thus produce acts directly on central chemoreceptors and stimulates breathing. Thus an increase in carbon dioxide causes hyperventilation. When the response of central chemoreceptors to carbon dioxide is decreased, response of central chemoreceptor decreases to carbon dioxide in sleep, anesthesia and in carbon dioxide narcosis when carbon dioxide is more than 70 millimeters of mercury. What about the response to hypoxia? The central chemoreceptor response to hypoxia is unchanged because they don't have oxygen receptors. Now the peripheral chemoreceptors. The aortic and carotid body receptors are stimulated by increased hydrogen ion concentration, increased carbon dioxide, decreased pH and by a decreased PO2. Peripheral chemoreceptors are stimulated by oxygen only when PO2 is less than 60 millimeters of mercury. These receptors send impulses to dorsal group of neurons in the medulla. What are the type of cells in carotid and aortic bodies? Unmyelinated nerve endings of cranial and 9, glossopharyngeal and 10th vagus are found between type 1 and type 2 cells. The type 1 and type 2 cells contain dopamine which inhibits the discharges. Modulate responses to hypoxia by stimulating cranial nerve 9, glossopharyngeal nerve and the vagus nerve. Both Pharyngeal and vagus nerve bring information to the medulla. Carotid body afferent go via cranial nerve 9, glossopharyngeal nerve to medulla, whereas aortic body afferent go via vagus nerve to medulla. What's the effect of denervation of these chemoreceptors? Denervation of carotid chemoreceptor abolishes response to hypoxia and to increase hydrogen ion concentration more than it, it does with the carbon dioxide. If there is a slight decrease that is 20% decrease to carbon dioxide. Denervation of of the vagus nerve will inhibit the response of aortic bodies and the inhibitory impulses from inflation of the lung when it inspires to the respiratory center. It will increase the depth of respiration and if the pneumotoxic center control is detached with the inspiratory center, the respiration will go into apneosis. There are two inhibitory controls of the inspiratory center, one from pneumotoxic center and the other from the vagus nerve. And if both of them are knocked down, then there occur apneasis. Why carotid bodies are stimulated only at low PO2? Blood flow to the carotid body is 0.04 ml per minute or 2 liters per 100 gram of tissue per minute. Now, this is a very high blood flow compared to the brain which is 54 ml per minute and kidney is 420 ml per minute. Because of this high blood flow, oxygen needs of the cells in the peripheral chemoreceptors are met with dissolved oxygen alone. So receptors are not stimulated in anemia and carbon monoxide poisoning in which dissolved oxygen is normal. These receptors are stimulated only when the PO2 reaching the receptor is low, that is less than 60 mmHg. There are also receptors in 
atria, arteries and lungs and what's bizarre gerish reflex? In bizarre gerish reflex there is bradycardia and hypotension and sometime apneasis and is produced due to stimulation of chemoreceptors. Drug that act on that is veratridine and nicotine.